Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome to my channel where I finally kind of have a little intro going, but Valentine's Day is fast approaching and as I don't have anyone to spend time with, I'm going to spend time making a Valentine's themed doll. This doll is also for a collab, so make sure you check out the other artists. Getting started, I've already prepped this Monster High Draculaura doll that I'll be using for today's project, and for her reroute, I will be using an array of different pink nylon doll hair that I've had from other customs, but I thought would work very nicely. So I've already started rooting her hairline off camera, and I'm using the darker pink, and then I will be filling it out with the lighter shades of pink on the inside to make kind of like a hidden pink rainbow. Something I need to state is that this doll is heavily inspired by a couple of my favorite doll artists that have also made nurse-themed dolls in the past, and they look gorgeous. Those artists being Etalon and Bellry. Please go check out their dolls if you haven't seen them already. They are gorgeous. So I have finished the reroute and I really love how whenever you move the front line of hair it reveals all the other shades of pink and this is a method I will definitely be trying again in the future because I really love how it looks. So I've given the hair a couple boil washes to lay it a little flatter, and now I'm going to be putting it into a high ponytail. I debated on whether or not I should curl her ponytail to put more emphasis on the other shades of pink, but then I was like, I really don't want to take away from the outfit and the face of this doll if I put all my thought and care into her hairstyle, so I just left it straight. Now that her hair is done, it's time to move on to the face and body. I'm going to start by blushing her joints and then adding blush and makeup to her face. After blushing, I give her a few coats of Mr. Super Clear Sealant, and then I will be moving on to watercolor pencils. For this face up, I just really wanted to make her look as cute as I possibly could. I wanted her eyes to be very large and round, doe-eyed, and adorable eyelashes, and then I gave her eyebrows a little upturn because she looks a little worrisome, but still cute, I hope. Here's how the first layer of watercolor pencil looks. I'm going to be moving on to add more shadow and depth. I'm now moving on to gouache paint. I'm still trying to get used to using gouache. It doesn't really dry as I've learned, so I'm trying to keep water away from the face at all times after I put on gouache paint, but it's also a lot easier to blend and smooth out than acrylics.
for her catch lights. Of course, I had to make them heart shaped because that's just adorable. Something I've been trying for my customs lately is adding actual makeup onto them. I've been using highlighter to add like a little pearlescent shine. And this Anastasia Moonchild palette is so beautiful. It adds this like iridescent shimmer onto my doll's faces and I love it. So I think I'm done with her face up. I just need to add some Mod Podge gloss varnish to her eyes and lips. Now for the reveal of her face and hair together. I think she is so pretty. I'm already so happy with how she looks. I decided to glue on some earrings using my diamond dots. So another inspiration for this doll and the main accessory I'm going to be using is this necklace I got from Showtime Sweetie on Etsy. It's an adorable syringe filled with resin and pink glitter. Uh, if you want to buy this for yourself, go check out their shop. So unfortunately, I'm not actually going to be using the syringe as a necklace, so I had to take off the chain. I feel so bad. It feels like I'm destroying someone's artwork, but I'm also still using the main component. Moving on to her outfit, I was really actually excited to make this dress because I'm not really going for like the classic nurse dress. I'm actually using a maid dress pattern, but I think it still works the same. So again, I really didn't record most of the sewing process because I think it's just kind of boring to watch, honestly, but you guys can let me know in the comments if you would rather see more of the sewing process and I will try to include that in future videos. Here is the base dress all sewn together. I really like the red sleeve cuffs. I think it adds a little, a little flair. It's really cute. But now I'm going to be adding the apron. The patterns I'm using for this outfit today are from DG Requiem. And here is the apron all sewn together. I really skipped all of it. Now I'm sewing her stockings and a little pocket for the apron, which these patterns are from Moonlight Jewel. For the pocket, I decided to embroider this cute little pink heart onto it. So I actually think the thread I used is a little too light of a pink, so I'm filling out the entire heart instead of just doing the outline.
I decided to also add some embroidery onto the nurse's cap. To secure the cap to the doll's head, I'm just adding a sewing needle to pin it in place. To add on some final details, I'm using some multicolored ribbons and a little bit of lace. So I've had these miniature bottles laying around for a while and they're perfect size for dolls so I wanted to fill one up with some glitter and then attach it to my doll's apron. Filling up the bottle was very messy and I'm going to be covered in glitter for weeks, but it was worth it. To attach the bottle to her apron, I just wrapped it in thread and then sewed it in place. With all those tiny details added, her outfit is done. Of course, I'm still not completely satisfied yet, so I had to paint her nails. Uh, this is something I do for a lot of my customs, so it's pretty normal. And with that, she's done. Making a pink themed nurse doll has been on my wish list for doll customs for so long now. I'm so glad I finally made it and I'm so thankful to have been included in this collab. Um, make sure you go check out the other artists videos and go check out their dolls. They all look amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know, 
you can subscribe if you aren't already um it's free <laughs> uh if you liked this doll and you want to see more from me you can also check out my instagram and i also have an etsy shop where i sell some of my dolls so that's also an option but yeah thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next video